last tutorial I'm going to show you how to actually create a post and actually how to make it look good and format it. So I'm just going to go back to the actual dashboard here. You see this is my area for my post, so I'm using posts now rather than pages, but it works the same in both. So I'm going to go into my post here and edit it. And this is the page editor, and it looks like a normal word processor. I've got some nonsense content here. So let's put in my title. So this is going to be finding a perimeter. Now the first thing I can spell, I'm terrible at this, here we go, is with titles we want to format them so they look good. And you can see at the top you've got some options. So I always use this one, a heading. And we can change the size of that if we want to, but I'm just going to leave it as so. My title is finding a perimeter. Um, and I'm going to write my content. This is how we find a perimeter. Okay. Now, a good blog post will explain what you've done from your point of view. It won't be super brief. It won't be, here is some maths I did. It won't be what I enjoyed. It will be an explanation of what you did and what you learned and how you felt about it. I'm going to give you a very brief bit of writing here just so I can show you how to format. Your blog post should be detailed and interesting and explain how you felt and what you've learned. So what I might want to do to explain it is to first of all maybe put an image in there. A blog post, because it's online on the internet, we can use text, images, links, videos, all kinds of stuff. So here we go. So I want to put an image in here first. So I've got the image option. So, and you can get these images from your blog, from al albums, from all kinds of places. But I'm going to upload one. And I've just found an image of some geometry online. But obviously you will have your own stuff to work with. So let's drop this in. Here we go. And when you put an image in, we can play around with all kinds of features. So we can change the size, look. Medium, large. Okay. And we can even add captions. This is really useful. So I can say... This is my working house. There we go. That's a really, really nice way of doing things. So your teacher might want to find out how you found out about that um, perimeter. So to do this, I went to the tutorial page and watched a great video. Okay, so you might have watched a few videos to learn this. Your teacher might have shown it to you. So we can actually go to say this really great video here, look this is the place that I got the image from, so this is an online maths lesson, and so I'll go back to my blog and I can maybe embed the video. Um, there's a couple of ways of doing this, we can just drop the hyperlink in which is just by grabbing it here, but that's kind of a super boring way of doing it. When we're doing it with a blog, it's better to actually put the video in, somebody can watch it then. So you can see here's our video option, I've got from YouTube, type the search box in and the title. I've got my YouTube videos. Okay, so unfortunately it's a bit annoying here. You do have to have the title. So let's have year seven, eight, nine, first, simplify. So I need to know that title. I probably won't need to do the whole thing. I should find it now with my search. Here we go, fantastic. So I press select. And you see it's dropped the video and I can customize that in a moment. Let's wait for this to load. Okay. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. So that's videos. And we can change the layout of these. Look, so I don't have to have it in the middle. We can have it at the left and the right hand side. Um, okay. Now, when you're breaking stuff down, you might want to use subheadings. So how uh, I learn this? The great to use a subheading so let's add this one in there we go so I've now got how we found a perimeter I should have added more writing I've got an image from my computer maybe I've put a caption on it I've used a subheading here and some other stuff I've added a nice video okay um, we can add links as well because um, I also went to this great site go so let's hyperlink that by clicking here and if you do have a web address I'm going to link it to Google but obviously you might have a web address where you found some information 
I'll put it in a new Windows useful because it means your teacher won't lose your blog page when they're viewing it. So let's press OK. There we go. So all I've shown you there is a few really basic skills. The first one was formatting heading and subheadings. The second was, was about adding images from your computer or online. The third one was about adding in video content. Most of the other stuff you should be able to know already. One of them here, which is quite nice, look. Let me show you this one is quote. So let's see what happens here. Look, quote, you know, just means it, it nudges it in a little bit. It stands out a comment. And that's a really, really useful thing if you've got, say, a comment from one of your friends or something that really, really stuck out for you from the lesson. Okay, <laughs> lastly, like any good computer to, um, software, let's do a spell check. Okay, that's looking good. So I can update my blog post and let's have a look at that post now, see what it looks like online. Here we go. So I've got finding a perimeter, got a nice uh, title there. I've got my image, I've got a subheading. My computer's going a little bit slow at the moment. You can see any moment now, I've got my video. Here we go. It's not very happy at the moment, my computer, but uh, you can see there's my embedded video. I can watch it in the blog. Um, lastly, if you are into your HTML editing, you can go in and edit your blog in HTML, but that's quite time consuming and you need to know what you're doing before you go and do it, because otherwise you could make a real mess of your blog. So for most of you, unless you're confident, stay in the Compose view. So that last video is how to format a quality blog post so that it looks good, the kind of things you should add and how we lay it out.